Well, it's February 28, 2023, and as you might guess, I am in the hospital waiting uh, before my knee replacement surgery. So far, they put the IV in and given me uh, some pre-surgical drugs, and we're just waiting for various people to come by and uh, talk to me about the surgery, about anesthesia, etc. So, that's uh, what's up right now, and I'll check back in later after the surgery. So, see you then. Well, it's a quarter to one on February 28, 2023. I'm Todd Dunn, and uh, I am out of surgery and up in my room. And the only discomfort I'm feeling right now is that my right leg is cold because they've got it hooked up to a machine that's circulating ice water uh, through a wrap on it. Uh, but I can move my legs and move my feet and I can bend my knee although it's got so much stuff wrapped around it that that limits it and I can straighten it and I'm not pushing it very much because they haven't told me what I can do yet so I've now been at the hospital for just over six hours surgery is done the anesthesia that I had was a spinal and then uh, uh, anesthesia that left me breathing on my own. So uh, I feel completely normal right now, except my leg is cold. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm hungry because they haven't given me anything to eat yet. So I'm waiting on lunch. And uh, the, so far the surgery, surgery has uh, not been a huge event. There, I'll move this back so you can see a little more of the room. I'm shooting this video with my phone, uh, which is a little different than the GoPro I usually use. And I have, uh, you know, I'm in a private room, and I'm apparently going to be here until about noon tomorrow, at which point They'll put me out on the street. So, uh, yeah, it uh, has not been a big deal so far. And hopefully uh, the uh, rest of the recovery will go well. The first couple of hours, uh, not so bad. And uh, I have to say that uh, the surgical team did a really good job, as far as I can tell. And uh, they, they certainly treated me well. Uh, they did give me a nerve block after the surgery, which the anesthesiologist said should uh, take care of the vast majority of pain uh, for you know, 24 to 36 hours and potentially uh, up to 72 hours. So we'll see. So this is my second report on my total knee replacement on my right knee. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll check back in a little later after uh, I have lunch and the physical therapy people come and we see uh, exactly what's going to happen to me in terms of mobility. Okay, I'll uh, come back later. Okay, it's still February 28, 2023. I'm Todd Dunn. Uh, it's 3.30 now, uh, about uh, four and a half hours after surgery. And uh, the physical therapist uh, showed up about 30 minutes ago and uh, measured my leg. And, uh, you know, for extension and bending and it's okay I got to within nine degrees of straight and bent to 76 degrees which I wasn't very happy with but it was starting to hurt pretty good there and then oh, sorry and then 
uh, they got me out of bed and had me walk around. I convinced the physical therapist that the first place I should walk to was the bathroom, <laughs> but uh, and that went well. But uh, then we went out of the room and down the hallways. I was walking with a walker. Uh, yeah, I think it's probably definitely a good idea, although I think I probably could walk a short distance without it at this point. That is, of course, uh, probably partly due to the fact that uh, I'm pretty doped up on pain drugs, and um, including a nerve block in the right leg. And uh, there was some pain on walking, and the knee isn't behaving 100% normally, but, you know, I was able to walk and uh, make a pretty good time. So I'm not, at this point, I know I can do it, and I'm not too worried about mobility when I get home. Uh, they were all ready to, they put a, a belt on me, a lifting belt, uh, for when I got out of bed, uh, but they didn't even have to touch it. I just popped right out of bed, no problems. And I can bear full weight on the surgical leg. So, you know, uh, I think I can get around pretty well. And tomorrow, we're going to go sometime in the morning and do stairs. That's going to be fun. And I hope that that will, uh, you know, solve uh, the biggest issue I'm going to have when I get home is that I have to go up a flight of stairs to get to the main part of the house. And we're probably going to have to rig some sort of uh, extension cord uh, because of all the electronic junk that they're going to send me home with. But it's looking pretty good right now. I'm really pleased that uh, less than six hours after my surgery, I was able to get up and walk and, uh, you know, go into the restroom and do that. And, and uh, you know, everything seems to be okay. And when I went to get back into the bed, uh, I just got into bed normally. No issues at all. Just lifted the leg up. And uh, the physical therapist tested the strength in the operative leg and said everything was fine. So, anyway, I'll sign off for now.